I'm almost there. I got five laps left to be fully qualified as an unlimited hydroplane driver, and that'll be a dream come true. Technically, what it means is you've worked your way up in different classes, and then once I get in this boat, I need 10 laps that are above 130 and 15 total. And so right now I have 10 laps and six are above uh, 130 miles an hour. So I need five more laps and four of those at 130 and do the math and I'm there. Harold really paved the way for me. And when I look back, I think about seeing him in the boat and I just had never seen anyone who looked like me in a boat. So I was like, man, m maybe I can do that. For me to get fully qualified really is getting him to get fully qualified too. We're doing it together. He's coaching me through and he did a lot of the work. Now it's just finishing the job. It was the last race of the season and I was going into that last quarter and I really knew I needed to hook it so I didn't uh, hit the boat next to me. And when I did that, the boat barrel rolled and luckily it landed right side up, but you know, sometimes that doesn't happen. We actually practice every year what's called a capsule test. And that capsule test means that we go into a swimming pool, they put you in a capsule just like that one, they turn you upside down. And you have, you have an air system on and you need to be calm, find your breath and climb your way out. You pull your seatbelts off, pull the steering wheel off and then get your way to the surface. So we practice that every year just in case you don't land right side up. But in that case, I landed right side up. Five years ago, I did. I was diagnosed with kidney cancer, and that's that's a tough thing to hear. And I wasn't sure really what the prognosis was going to be because it had spread to my lungs. And I was like, okay, well, uh, I got some decisions to make, and I knew I still needed to live life to the fullest. And I think when you've had something like that, and you've gone through a cancer scare or anything, um, you just reflect on things different. And I knew that as soon as I could get better, I wanted to get back in a boat and do things that I love. It feels great to be racing alongside my dad because I look up to him a lot and he's like one of my role models and I would love to be racing H1s too, just like him. I give him like advice about his starts cause like he's been having a little tough time having them but he'll learn and get them good. You know, I love that he's really engaging and he's very methodical. Um, I'm impressed with how he's learning. He's not taking unnecessary risks, but he knows that you have to be aggressive to race. So it's exciting to see, and I'm excited to see him get out there again. This is a, a, an important moment for me. The amount of support that I have just to be out in the boat, man, it means everything. So I want to make people proud. At the same time, I know, hey, things can happen. So if, if we have a gearbox problem, okay, we had a gearbox problem, but because I'm part of this great team, we'll figure it out. And if it means that this needs to become a display boat, we get something different, I'm happy with that. If it means that I go out and get my last laps and we get to celebrate that today, whether it happens today, whether it happens tomorrow or next year, still good. Yeah.